Hey guys, it's Adam Rose, Vice President and Senior Loan Officer of Western Ohio Mortgage located here in Sydney, Ohio. This is another episode of the Mortgage Guy podcast, and I have a guest today, and this is the one where you're going to get to know a little bit about GemCap Equity Building System, Mr. Ray Klein, who drove all the way from Toledo. Southern Toledo, I hope. Is this, I've never been there. Yeah, Toledo, okay. sure. So, uh, whoa, that's, that's the national headquarters of GemCap. How long did it take you? Um, I gave it two and a half. Yeah, a little bit less. Whew. Easy drive. Easy drive. Up I said he drove all the way down here just to be on this show with us to help us uh, educate our consumers, realtor partners, whoever's watching this video, a little bit about his company and his primary product. I'm sure there's other products that go along with us. So uh, I've been working with Ray for a few years now, um, and I was introduced to Ray by my mom actually, yes. uh, who you were introduced by my mom by I don't know when. A long time ago, right? Through, through the uh, state association. State association. So, uh, Ray, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and, and what you do and what what is GemCap? Tell us what that is. GemCap is a, is a is a great company that helps you do just something a little bit different that in the end is going to save you a lot of money. Right. If you understand the definition of insanity, <laughs> doing the same thing the same way and expecting right. different results. Right. The lenders would like you to do the same thing the same way. They make a lot of money. But we offer a way that you can make your payments just a little bit differently and enjoy wonderful results. Yeah. You know what? And I'm set up on this as well. Yes, you are. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you are. So, so I do, I, I would never sell a product that I wouldn't personally have myself, just for the record. That's right. So, yeah. Tell us a little bit how this works. So, very simply, what we do, instead of you making your monthly payments on your own every month, just like the lenders have brainwashed you, we automatically withdraw half of your total mortgage payment every two weeks when you get paid right now don't go away in case you don't get paid every two weeks we work with anybody people get paid once a week once a month twice a month we'll work with anybody and it will come out the same way that we end up collecting an extra payment a year and we tell the lender to put that extra payment right on the principal and when they do that correctly they theoretically reamortize the loan and knock off years and thousands of dollars ton of money ton, ton of, of money. money so the five major benefits that that our clients will see the very first one is they're never going to have to make a full mortgage payment out of one paycheck. Right. Which that's huge. It it's, is. Especially today with inflation, everything that's going exactly. on, they're living paycheck exactly. to paycheck and like, Oh my God, I got to the end of the month. I don't know if I can make this mortgage payment on time. And I've had people tell me if I couldn't break up my payments like this, I couldn't afford my house. Right. Yeah. So they, it's a convenient budgeting tool right from the get go. Now I'm going to interject here on this. So, uh, the nice thing that I, when I talk to clients about this program, and the why the reason I like it so much is the automatic debit is basically twelve oh one a.m. Friday morning. I ain't e I'm not even up yet. Right. I don't even have the ability to spend the money before it's already gotten. It's already paying my mortgage. That's a good way to put it. That that's how I like to look at it. Sure. And you, you know some people need that too, right? Some some right. people aren't disciplined enough to do this on their own. Exactly. And they, this system is great. It really is. And, and you, can't, you can't just look and say, well, somebody's struggling here and struggling there, so they need us. Right. There is a lot of very wealthy people that are on our program, too. Correct. And yeah. it's because we're called GemCap Equity Management. They're willing for us to manage their equity for them. And they don't have, the only discipline they need is to make their deposits, yeah. which they already do. Right, right. Well, I'll tell you what, we're, we're going to go through some examples here in just a minute, guys. But I do have a story about that. Um, that it was, oof. 2016, I want to say. All right. So I have a, I, I refinanced into a 15 year loan. It was like 2014, 2015. Been making the same payments, automatically withdrawn by, by Jim Cap. Payments have always been made. And it was in October, I remember. And I got this notice Hey, we didn't get your payment. You are now 30 days past due. And I'm like, Well, that's, that's not right. There's no way that's right because it's been on automatic withdrawal. There's been no issues. So I didn't even have to make a phone call to my mortgage servicer. I had actually emailed Ray, and he put me in touch with Nancy, correct? Who is awesome, by the way, correct? And please tell me she's still there. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> Before sure. I said, oh, by the way, yeah, no, she no. left a few years ago, uh, and she's like, "Don't worry about it. I'm going to contact them. I'm going to take care of it." So I instead of me calling customer service and like pulling my bank statements and doing all this stuff and say, "Look, this is where all the payments were made. You know, fix this." Nancy reached out to him, and I think it was just a couple of days. She emailed me back. She says, it's all taken care of. They got all the payment histories all corrected in the system. I don't know if it was just a, a, a human error that was made. I don't know. 
on on the lender side, like on the servicing right. side, but she fixed it. And I'm going to tell you what, not having to be on the phone for a few hours and providing a bunch of documentation to me alone was worth it. And I, and I can understand that because shame on some of our American lenders. They've got call centers in India, right? Yeah. The Philippines. Yep. And these people think they speak good or English and they really don't, or you're on hold forever, <laughs> you know, and, and Nancy takes all of that on. And, and, a, and a lot of it can simply be, I don't think they're intentional errors, just the sheer volume of transactions, things happen. Right. And I've talked to some people. They get a pile of checks to post to people's accounts. Their mission in life is to get rid of that pile of checks. Mm -hmm. and, and I've seen where they put it on somebody else's account. Or they apply it to principal instead of principal and interest, which means a payment. You're right. So Nancy can very quickly see the checks that they've been cashed. What did you do with our client's money? Right. And, and in a nice way, she beats them up and, and gets you the benefit. So that's, that's, that's an excellent story. I yeah. I hear that yeah. a lot. Yes. I hear that a lot. Uh, so it saved me. Um, and on this topic, again, before we get into these examples, this isn't just for mortgage. No, absolutely not. We have a lot of people put their credit cards, student loans, car payments. Um, we have a place in Toledo that um, they're a very large a tow company. Mm -hmm. And if you've ever seen some of these humongous uh, tow trucks, they can be three, four, five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, I and can they imagine. put them on here plus second mortgages and 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 your your RVs and whatever you have, any kind of loan, we can put it on there and help you get control of their finances and yeah. save a bunch of money. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So I'll tell you what, guys. So what we're going to do next, we're going to kind of hop into some of these examples uh, that Ray brought with us, and we're going to be looking through these, and we're going to pop these up on your screen so you can follow along as well. Um, so Ray, you want to walk us through this first one so we can, uh, we know what we're looking for here. Yeah, it depends on, on the, uh, the amount of loan and the interest rate. So I threw one together, 150,000 for 30 years at 6%. It gives you a monthly payment of 1199.33. Yep. When we take half of that every two weeks, when somebody gets paid and pay these and we're paying monthly, we're not paying every two weeks. If you try to send a payment to the lender, that's just half a payment. They're going to do one of two things send it back and say it's not enough, right? or they're going to cash your check, but they're not going to put it to your account. So we do that for you. We'll hold that first debit, that half a payment, until we get the second one, and we send off a, a full payment. But So actually we're sending uh, at least 12 checks a month, whether electronic or, or paper check, depending if the lenders can handle it. Um, and then we're also throwing that extra in, and we're telling them put that extra right towards principal. So when we take half of this, mm -hmm. Every two weeks, the five benefits that you're going to see, you're not going to have to make a full payment out of one paycheck. That's the first one. Plus, your equity is going to grow faster. It could be two to three times faster depending on the monthly payment. Your payments are going to be paid on time. You're not going to have to worry about late charges or credit damage. And in this particular example, we're going to pay that 30-year loan off in 23.6 years and save you almost 42 thousand dollars in unnecessary mortgage interest all right Chris. so so these numbers he's talking about we're going to be highlighting them for you as we're going through them now one question that some people may have ray is at the top of the screen where it shows your monthly payment 11.99 and then someone says 610.62 that's not half of 11.99 you want to explain that for us sure um there's a couple things on there uh each time we debit there is a debit charge of three dollars and ninety five cents. Right, we have Pretty no control over that. Right, that's yeah. the that's covering the fees the banks are charging us to move that to from one bank to Perfect. another banking fee. There's also a seven dollars optional debit in there for a second product that we offer. Mm -hmm. If you're watching television, LifeLock is on every flipping channel. Yeah, they uh, it, years ago the National Association of Mortgage Brokers had a real concern on identity theft. It has not gotten any better. It's just gotten worse. So we've partnered with a company that has the best identity theft I've ever seen. I've seen it's better than LifeLock. It includes more than LifeLock and costs less than LifeLock. You get additional to the identity theft. You get free and discounted legal help, tax help, um, credit counseling, financial coaching. There's a um, uh, life events counseling that if you're having a really bad day, you can call them and they'll hook you up with a licensed clinician and help you talk you down on any kind of crisis that you have. Wow. Completely optional, but that is part of that. 
I even tell the people, you know, get the free and discounted stuff and call us later and we'll cancel it for you. Yeah. But yeah. it's a great program, best program I've ever seen for identity theft. Yeah. And, and you know, when I'm looking through these estimates, and we have a couple more that we'll go through here in a second just to give you guys an idea, is, uh, you, you know, at the top of the at the form, the 6% rate is, is what uh, Ray was using for this ca calculation. Now, when you go to the very, very bottom and it says EBS, okay, that's the equity building system. He mentioned 23.6 years. That's how quickly. Uh, this puppy gets paid off on a 30-year mortgage. If you go down, the other way to look at this, especially when we're in a higher rate environment, especially today, right? Correct. Rates are anywhere from five eight seven five to seven and a quarter. It just depends, right, on the borrower. We have no idea. A credit score, type of loans, type of house, right? Manufactured housing is different. Mm -hmm. But look at that net equivalent rate. So basically, what this is saying is. Based off the amount of money that you've saved over this time frame, your equivalent rate that would have been a 30-year fix is the same as a 4.755. But it's all said and done. You've paid this off in 23.6 years and saved almost 42 grand. That would have been the rate you would have had to have gotten to get that type of a loan. Ladies and gentlemen, that's two points before the mar below the market really right now. I mean, good Lord. So th this is a great way to do it. The cost is absolutely minimal. So I do... Um, mention this to our clientele when I meet with them. It is absolutely their decision. Um, uh, when you look to the right on these estimates, you know, I, I've actually talked to people about, hey, this type of option could replace the 15-year mortgage. Sure. Now, I'm, I'm not going to say go and do that. I'm just saying from a standpoint of, hey, my affordability is 30-year, not a 15. Well, if you are paying an extra $50 every two weeks, which equivalent is a little over $100 a month on mm -hmm. average, right? It turns it into a 19-year loan. Exactly. That's absurd. Right. And and it doesn't cost, because if you went to a 15-year loan, your payment's automatically going to go up by about five to $600 right. a month, right? Or you could do it this way, spend about a hundred and a quarter a month on average and uh, turn it into a 19-year loan. And correct me if I'm wrong, a lot of people will qualify for a 30, but they won't qualify for a 20 yeah. or a 15. Absolutely, yeah. So, that Mr. Ratios. Client, we're going to close you at this 30, but we're going to pay it like a 20. Right. Yeah, I love and it. And if some catastrophe happens, you can't pay that extra $50 a paycheck, maybe go to Starbucks a little less. Right. Yeah, there's always you know, a way to figure it out, there's right? There's always a way. If Budgeting. you can't do it, you just go back and pay it like a 30. Very cool. So it's very flexible. That's crazy. All right, we're going to head over to the uh, next uh, is example he's got here. And, uh, again, the reason he's doing this is kind of just to show you the dollar figure savings and, and things like that. Uh, this is a $200,000 example, right? So uh, how does this compare to our other one here? Let's see here. Well, I did see that uh, according to Willow, two hundred thousand is the average sales price in the state yep. of Ohio. So two hundred thousand at six percent gives you a fourteen ninety nine eleven monthly payment. You'll be paying that thirty year off in twenty three point eight years mm -hmm. and save over fifty four thousand dollars in unnecessary <laughs> mortgage interest. Man, a lot. The choice is yours. Do you want to? Continue to give your lender the, the extra money, or would you like to keep it in your pocket and own your home early? Right. I mean, look at that. I mean, because as we get larger in the loan amounts, obviously the dollar figure saved is going to be more more right. significant. Right. Um, and that net equivalent interest rate, 4.7 oh, from a 6%. I just hope we see a 30-year fix at that rate again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's going to be this year or not. <laughs> We'll see. So... Uh, very good. I, I mean, I love it. And, and we'll pop up the, the third one on the uh, on the screen for you, uh, showing the interest savings of sixty eight thousand dollars. Yeah, if you if you were looking for a three hundred thousand, you may get a five point six percent interest rate. Pay it off in twenty four point three years and save over sixty eight grand. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Okay. Hey, I know he's mentioning interest rates, guys. I am not. I am the lender. He is not the lender. I am not doing APR breakdowns, and I'm not doing a disclaimer. I'm not quoting rate. Just for the record. If you want an interest rate, you have to give me a call, <laughs> and we have to go through your individual qualifications before we do that. Um, but uh, but this is amazing. It really is. Uh, it's a great program, great product, and we have a great rep that helps us out and helps guide us through this. Um, is there anything else that we didn't touch on with this? I, I mean, mean, that's about it. I that, mean, that's I, the that's the money right there. That's that, the gold, that is, right? That's that's the basic. And and just so you know, we talked about wealthy people. There was somebody that even yeah. ran for president. I can't tell you who his name yeah. is, but he <laughs> ran for president and got on our program. When he refinanced, he got on our program. I have a lot of people, when they refinance, I want to stay on this program. And if you look at the back of Nancy's 
office door. She has all of these emails that come from clients. They just Thank love her. her. That's awesome. She does a great she job. She is cool, and she responds really well. Very much so. I mean, so. good Lord. Um, so I have to ask you, Ray. I may catch you off guard a little bit, so I apologize. If you don't have a story, it's okay. I always, anybody that comes on the show, I always ask them, do you have any kind of weird mortgage-related, industry-related, or your industry-related story that's happened to you with a client? Anything crazy? Um, we, I was asking everybody, and nobody really came up with anything. <laughs> but So it's not like real estate agents where, where, they're, where they're showing a house and some naked guy bounces out of the no, bathroom because no. they had no idea there were people there? No, okay, no. we didn't have that one yet. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have Teresa, our owner, on again. And she's got a doozy. Let oh, me tell really? you. Oh, okay. my God. She's trying to find. She's got this letter of explanation from like 25 years ago when they lived up. They lived in like the Appalachian, like in the mountains. Right. Oh and I'd have to. I'm not even going to. I'll butcher the story. I'm not even going to go into it, but it's hilarious. So we'll have to have her on and, and check that out. Um, but that's great. Great information, Ray, and a great resource. And I, I'm super happy to continue uh, doing business with you and helping our clients out as much as possible, especially in this environment with rates going up and all over the map. It's a great way for people to start saving some money uh, in hopes that down the road we can get them into a refi. And just imagine, guys, if we got into a refi rate environment and doing this, it would look like the old 2020, 2021, the two and a half days, right? Exactly. Oh, exactly. Yeah. I don't know if we'll ever see that again, but good God, that would be something amazing. Um, but that's it for us this week, guys. Remember, like the show, click all over the place, all right? Keep clicking on it. Share it with your friends, and make sure you subscribe on YouTube. Remember, it's free, so make sure you do that. Also, check us out on Spotify and check us out on Apple Podcasts, and that's it for the Mortgage Guy Podcast this week.